coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Virgin Galactic completes successful spaceflight. Textron delivers first passenger spec Sky Courier turboprop. Gamma releases quarter one 2023 aircraft shipment and billings report. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Virgin Galactic completes successful spaceflight. Virgin Galactic has successfully completed its Unity 25 space mission, thinking this makes them ready for commercial service after just a few handfuls of flights. Mission specialists Jamila Gilbert, Christopher Huey, and Luke Mays ventured spaceward for a purpose of conducting final end-to-end -end assessments of Virgin Galactic's Unity spacecraft and overall spaceflight experience. The company will next hurriedly prepare for the commencement of its long-awaited commercial spaceline operations, which are slated to get underway with late June 2023's Galactic One mission. In 2004, Branson somewhat prematurely declared Virgin Galactic's first paying passengers would journey spaceward in 2007. Fourteen years thereafter, Virgin Galactic made its 2021 inaugural flight, which unbeknownst to many, drifted dangerously off course, compelling the mission's pilots to heroic feats of improvisation by which an embarrassing emergency landing was precluded. Just. In July 2022, Virgin Galactic announced the signing of a long-term lease for a new final assembly manufacturing facility for its next-generation Delta-class spaceships, which are slated to serve as the company's workhorse vehicle for near-future spaceflight operations. The first Delta-class ships are expected to commence revenue-generating payload flights in late 2025 before progressing to passenger-carrying space tourism flights in 2026. Coming up after the break, Lockheed Martin spins off hybrid airship IP into AT-2 Aerospace. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Lockheed Martin spins off hybrid airship IP into AT-2 Aerospace. Lockheed Martin will share its hybrid airship IP and related assets with the newly formed AT-2 Aerospace. The new operation will open its doors in Santa Clarita, California, where it will continue to develop the concept into an airship capable of cheap cargo operations all over the world. The current specification of their hybrid airship, the Z-1, sports their air cushion landing system, allowing the craft to take off and land from almost any location on the planet. Austro Engine Expands Hydrogen Diesel Engine Program Austro Engine has embarked on a program with the Vienna University of Technology and Bosch General Aviation Technology for the creation of a bivalent hydrogen engine. Diamond's sister company hopes to complete the research project by the end of 2024. The engine concept will hopefully be able to run on both kerosene and diesel fuels like a traditional Austro engine, while also being able to run on pure hydrogen. The problem is simpler in theory than in practice, of course, with Austro describing their basic idea as an engine with direct H2 injection and combustion via ignition jet instead of spark plugs. Boeing Business Jet Sees Raft of Activity Boeing's smaller-scale private jet operation has seen more sales activity than usual, announcing four orders for some of its most high-end aircraft. The four unnamed customers ordered outside the more affordable end of the Boeing business jet catalog, where most tend to stay. Only two opted for their own private 737 MAX, while the others went for the much larger, more capable 787-8 and 777-X. While Boeing's offerings are far and away bigger and longer-legged than the vast majority of competing top-of-the-line biz jets, a private 777 is still something to behold. ACR Electronics launches Artex ELT 4000M 
ACR Electronics has introduced its RTX ELT 4000M, a transport grade 406 MHz approved emergency locator transmitter operating on homing frequencies of 243 and 121.5 MHz. The device is powered by a patented alkaline-based solution exempt from provisos the likes of those the FAA has prescribed for non-rechargeable lithium batteries. Production units of the new ELT, which has received COSPAS, SARSAT, FAA, and DIASA certification, are currently shipping. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Textron delivers first passenger spec Sky Courier turboprop. The first delivery of Cessna's passenger layout Sky Courier was tendered to Western Aircraft Inc. last week, kicking off the industry's next favorite twin turboprop light commuter twin, or so Textron hopes. The delivery marks off the first time a passenger Sky Courier has made its way into operator hands, with previous deliveries consisting solely of cargo variants. In the cargo role, the Sky Courier can haul three LD3 shipping containers up to 6,000 pounds overall. As a passenger plane, that capacity is put to use to provide some adequately spacious seating for 19. The aircraft will be put to use under Western Aircraft's Lanai Air brand in Hawaii, a role the little commuter is well suited to. Island hopping has long been the domain of a motley assortment of aging and varied aircraft, with older piston twins, turboprop singles, and out-of-production commuters ferrying passengers from one aisle to another. Textron's choice to develop a new aircraft for the niche could be aimed at the vacancy once left by departure of the de Havilland Twin Otter, which has fluctuated in and out of production as the economic winds shift. Certification galloped along throughout 2022, seeing few hiccups in bringing a clean sheet design to market. And after these messages, Gamma releases quarter one 2023 aircraft shipment and billings report. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Welcome back. Gamma releases quarter one 2023 aircraft shipment and billing reports. Gamma released its first quarter 2023 general aviation aircraft shipment and billing report, which, compared to the same period in 2022, indicates increasing unit deliveries across most aircraft segments. The overall value of shipments was slightly lower for fixed-wing aircraft, but increased for helicopters. Gamma president and CEO Pete Bunn stated, quote, the continued health of general aviation manufacturing industry is encouraging, particularly in light of persistent supply chain, workforce, and North American regulatory process challenges. Our manufacturers are focused on meeting this thriving product demand with new aircraft, which incorporate advanced technologies that further enhance safety and fuel performance. During this transformative time in aerospace, our manufacturers continually demonstrate that our sector is the technology incubator for safety and sustainability." End quote. Aircraft shipments through 2023's first quarter, considered against the same period in 2022, saw piston airplane deliveries increase 10.1% to 294 units, and turboprop deliveries increased 6.4% to 117 units. Business jet deliveries remained flat, however, equaling 2022's quarter one mark of 117 units. The total value of airplane deliveries through 2023's first quarter was $3.7 billion. Helicopter shipments compared to 2022's first quarter were robust. Piston helicopter deliveries increased by 40% to 56 units, while turbine helicopter deliveries increased by an impressive 53% to 153 units. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.